Okay, this is a multiplication game, a uh, war type game with a regular deck of cards. We'll remove the jacks and the kings. Uh, the queens will be zero. And we're gonna use our place cards to just put our cards on so we remember what operation we're using. They have all the operations on them. This game will be for integers, so all positive and negative whole numbers. So the red cards for our example here will be positive and the black cards will be negative. And you can switch that up if you would prefer. Divide the cards equally amongst the number of players. Each of us will have our place card out in front. And we're going to turn over two cards into our grid. So, and now I will multiply these two cards together. So four times zero, actually negative four times zero. The queens are zero, so it doesn't matter if they're negative or positive. Uh, negative four times zero will be zero. What do you have? And I have negative three times negative two, which is negative or positive six. Yeah. Now we have to decide who wins. So often I like to play the person who's furthest away from zero or closest to zero. Uh, for our purposes today, we'll, we'll see who has the, who's furthest away from zero. So I have zero and you have six. six so you have won this round here. And we'll put another couple cards out. So I have negative five times positive five. I know that a negative times a positive will be negative, and five times five is 25. So I have negative 25. I have positive two times negative seven, and positive plus a negative is a negative. So. You said plus there. Well, not, not plus. Times. Yeah, okay. Good. So positive times a negative will give you a negative. So I have negative 14. Good. So I'm further away from zero, so I will win that one. Uh oh. Negative 1 times negative 6. Uh, negative times a negative will be a positive, so I end up at 6. Zero times three. three. Zero groups oh, of three. Zero. It's just zero. zero. That's right. Yes. Good. Okay, you go ahead and put your cards down, and I'm going to rig the deck a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh -oh, I don't have a seven in here. Well, I have positive seven times a positive six which is pos positive 42. Good, and I have positive six times negative seven, which is gonna be negative 42. So we're both the same distance from zero, so it's a tie. We'll put three cards face down, and we'll turn up two new cards and see who might win out of this hand. So I have eight times nine, Hmm, well eight times 10 is 80. I have to take away one group of eight, which would be 72. So I have positive 72. And I have way less than that, which is because I have a positive one and a positive seven, which is just, po which is just positive seven. You got it. Okay, so I would win that one and I would get all the cards from that round. When I run out of these cards here that I'm playing with, I take the cards that I had previously won, turn them over, and continue to play with those cards. When one person runs out of cards, that person has lost the game.